Hi there everyone. So we're going to be making this card here. It's part of my November 8th class and the dies are from the new, um, it's in the Christmas catalog. I believe it's, uh, you know what? I have to look it up because I can't remember what it was called. Um, but it is called Sounds of the Season. So it's from Sounds of the Seasons dies, and it comes with different sizes of the bells, and and uh, it comes with some sprigs, but uh, it's not on this card. So let's get started. So what I did is I have a white card base. And then this is a mossy meadow, which is cut at five and a half by four and a quarter. And I punched out the sprigs. I believe that punch is now retired. So let's just, whoops, get started. So we're gonna mount this onto our card base. And I find the easiest way to do this is just sort of to line it up along the edge. And then next we have this piece here, and this is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I embossed it. I don't know if you can see it, but I embossed it with the this, this scripty uh, embossing folder. And you can really use any embossing folder that you have. And then you're just going to leave one eighth of an inch all around. And I just like to, I eyeball it. There we go. And then this piece here is, I'll just measure it. It is uh, two and a half. So that's two and five eighths. So two and five eighths. This is a retired um, DSP. And then this little square I cut out, it's two and a half inches using the stitched, stitch shape dies. So again, we're just gonna mount that, leaving about one eighth of an inch all around. And we sort of just eyeball it. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put dimensionals to pop that up. Next is our bell here. And I'm just going to put some glue down. This is my Tombow glue. And I did open up a new one for my video so that I wouldn't... And if you want to do like the, if you want to color your little leaves in, you can. I'm going to, let's see what it looks like if we color the leaves in. So this is my Mossy Meadow Dark Marker. Oops. See, we can sort of color this one in while it's still in there. So we've colored that in. Now I'm just gonna put some, I don't know where these ones came in. Let's hope it's this one and this one. And I 
know when I was die cutting this, I lost one of those. So um, let's see if we can color in the little. This one has a couple of berries. I'm going to color it in. Sometimes they fall out, so it's not a big deal if you don't have them. Okay. So next step, we're going to take these little sprigs. And we're just going to shove it in there like that. If you don't have the sprig punch, any sort of leaf will do. Now some of my kits had the, um, the little ball here. And then some of my kits will have the star. It's just a... Uh, It was sort of random as to who got what. So if you got the star, you will also have a star embellishment to sort of add to your card. So I think I'm just going to drop that down there. And then we're going to get our leaf here. And these are these were from the... I think brightly gleaming embellishments from last year. So let's put that there and then we'll add our extra star. I don't know, let's just put it right there. And then next we have this real red ribbon, which I already pre-tied. And I'm just going to grab some blue dots. Sometimes I'm not as prepared as I'd like to think I am. So we have a glue dot. We're just going to put that on the back of our bow. If you buy my kits and my card kits, I always tie the bows for you. So if you're one of those people who hate tying bows, well, when you get my kit, it's already pre-tied. Okay. Next, we are going to pop these up. And I'm going to look for... And of course, when I'm looking for dimensionals, I can't find any. Okay. So, we have a few here. One, two, three. And then we're going to put this on. I'm going to move mine a little more to the center. Like that. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. And this one says, warm wishes from our home to yours. And I can't quite remember which uh, stamp set this one is from, so I apologize. Like I said, I'm not as prepared tonight as I usually am. And these are Banner Punch which I absolutely, absolutely love. And again, we need more dimensionals. I'm not sure how we went through so many dimensionals today, but we did. 
course, I can't find any anywhere. Okay. So let's open up a new pack here. So I'm going to put two dimensions, dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. And we can either put it here or we can put it here. I don't know. I kind of like it here. But for this one, I'm going to put it above where the stitching is because I want the stitching to show up. So there we go. That's our finished card. And that was our sample card. So thanks for joining me and hope you have a great evening. Bye for now.